Hey fellow lyricorns, I'm Clifford Semi, the pop song professor, and welcome to my channel where we explain, create, and sometimes roast song lyrics. I asked you guys to describe Panic at the Disco songs in six words or fewer, and now you and I together are going to guess them and see if we can figure it out. It's a challenge that I'm honestly not sure if you guys are up to. You're nothing but a bunch of fake fans. Oh wait, what? What's that? You're not? Well then prove it. How many can you get right? I don't know, uh, that was an oddly overdramatic intro. And guys, guess what? We have a sponsor. Oh, but wait, it's a sponsor I promise you'll like. The band Cyrus is brand new and they are releasing their new song, Nutcase. Now the music is really good, but what I really like about this song are the music video and the lyrics. Here's a quick snippet. Let it take home, and then let it go. Obviously the music video is very cool, but my favorite part of the lyrics are when they sing, when I fall into nothing and the fire starts to rain, through all the death and the destruction, now they know we're the same. They capture a lot of feelings and emotions through a very simple approach to lyrics. There is a link in the description down below where you can go watch the rest of the music video and enjoy the song for yourself. You'll also be able to click on the music video and check it out right here at the end of this video. And with that being said, let's jump into some Panic of the Disco here. So we've got a couple of people who think they're pretty clever, they're gonna try to trick me, uh, but Brendan Wants to Be a Blunt is not one of those. This song is clearly about roaring 20s. Walking on a building, high hopes, baby. I had higher hopes for how difficult these were gonna be. I say that, but let's be completely honest, I'm probably gonna be way worse at this than a lot of you guys. Haven't you heard Closing Door? That's, oh, uh, I write Sins Not Tragedies. I was about to say Ballad of Mona Lisa, uh, but I, I got it right. Not a real time, nine o'clock in the afternoon. Nine in the afternoon, I mean, that's close enough. That counts, right? Right, come on. Uh, little boy calls out Naked King, um, the emperor's new clothes. Yeah, okay, nice. I feel like I'm on a roll right now. A uh, scientist on drugs? What? A scientist on drugs? What? 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 A scientist on drugs. I don't know. Crazy equals genius? No. No, that doesn't make sense. I don't know, I read the lyrics, I don't think that one works. Moon and Sun having a relationship. Oh gosh, I know this one. This has to be from, from the first album, right? Ugh, this is so much harder than I thought it would be. I'm just gonna guess nine in the afternoon again. When the day met the night, oh that's, I mean, I don't remember the name of that song, but that makes so much sense. Uh, dude catches murderer while he's dead. I, I'm guessing that's maybe like a reference to the mythology around uh, like, say hey, it's Saturday night. No. The Ballad of Mona Lee. The music video. Yes, that is so simple. That should have been the easiest one. Oh my gosh. Uh, we're young. Wanna go crazy? What? Guys, 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 guys. This is way harder than it should be. Wait, what's the party one from Death of a Bachelor? That's gotta be it. Is it Golden Days? Far too young to die. Ob oh gosh. Uh, one of the drunks. Don't threaten me with a good time? Yeah. Stupid, I'm so stupid. Rain from the north, uh, northern downpour. Easy, thank you for the easy one. I really needed that at this point. Rain sends its love, beautiful lyrics. That's also northern downpour. Okay, making your mom proud. That is definitely a reference to Pray for the Wicked. And I couldn't remember which song, so I used my cheat code just to remember the titles and I feel stupid now, because it's definitely Hey Look My Made It. Wow. You would think I hadn't spent 24 hours listening to Panic! at the Disco. Ooh, this one's intriguing. A lyric from London Boy? I'm gonna look up London Boy. Hey, <laughs> babe, don't threaten me with the good time. Yeah, there we go. That's the line. The line from London Boy is, show me a gray sky, a rainy cab ride. Babe, don't threaten me with the good time. They say home is where the heart is. And Taylor Swift has often talked about how Panic! at the Disco was somebody she listened to a lot when she was a kid. And so this makes sense. Advice from mom and ignoring history. Hey, look, ma, I made it. Okay, that's embarrassing. That's definitely high hopes. Wow. I was so confident, so cocky. How the mighty, well, not even that mighty, how the, the mediocrely mighty have fallen. <laughs> the stupid part is I should have known that. Drugs are amazing, I will bet you anything. This is king of the clouds. Okay, whatever, I quit. <laughs> this is so dumb, I'm so bad at this. I mean, to be fair, king of the clouds is a fair response because the lyrics are things that Brendan Urie said while he was high. So I mean, that 
kind of makes sense. MTG set smith, you're just set smithing me up for failure here. All right, 2016 was a train wreck. Death of a Bachelor came out in 2016. So I'm gonna guess that it's impossible year because the song title refers to the year and it was an impossible year. Lots of impossible, yes, I got it. <laughs> Sad, drunk and lonely in Hollywood. Oh gosh, that's a tough one. I think, I think that it's LA devotee. No, no, it's gotta be dying in LA. I mean, that's, that's obvious, yeah. Wait, I want, what? How many songs has he written about being sad, drunk, and lonely in Hollywood? My gosh. Inappropriate mime. I've definitely seen the music video, but I just don't remember. Is it Build God Then We'll Talk? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Man, it feels good to be finally getting a couple right. If Brendan died in 2012, is that Death of a Bachelor? Yes, okay, yeah, you should be proud of that one, King of Cliche. That was legitimately very, very good. Bisexuality, I'm guessing that's boys, girls, girls? Or wait, I can't remember the name. How does that work? Girls, girls, boys, yes. Girls love girls and boys. Yeah, I mean, it's technically the title of the song is girls slash girls slash boys. A blood fest and key necklace, that's Saturday night. Yep. All right, guys, one last one here. Okay, testosterone boys, harlequin girls, and sesquipedalian title, what? I'm gonna look up sesquipedalian. April just said the sesquipedalian is somebody who uses too long of words, which means the song probably comes from Pretty Odd, right? Or maybe a fever you can't sweat out. Maybe is it line is the most fun a girl can have? Yeah. <laughs> I feel way too proud of that one. That was so good. Anyway, guys, that was pretty fun. So you know what? Let's do it again. We're gonna do a part two on the 21 Pilots one. Uh, and maybe we'll get a little more adventurous from there, but go ahead and comment down below a six word description of a 21 Pilots song and then press enter a lot so I have to click see more and then put the title of it. Don't give it away, right? And you may end up in the next video. In the meantime, you can watch our first Guess the 21 Pilots song in six words or fewer. And right here, you can check out the new song Nutcase by Cyrus. Definitely go check that out. Thank them for supporting this channel and thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you next time.